right now you are in Stockholm at the World Water Week. This year it has the theme Water and Food Security. On Sunday you opened a workshop that discussed food security in the light of efficient use of resources from a field level. Can you tell us a bit about your impressions from there, from that discussion, and was there anything new that came out of it? Uh, well, we had very interesting discussions, and uh, I think uh, when talking about the farm level, uh, and we were of course discussing then the irrigation schemes and what what could be improved. Uh, there was uh, one thing which came up quite clearly, and that was the important or importance of taking the the cultural uh, and social. Uh, situation in the society into consideration while doing this uh, and this is something which is quite complicated and takes time to pick up uh, but was really emphasized from the local perspective uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, and also if, if we take the, the policy level uh, there were uh, example uh, mentioned from Burkina Faso um, which during the 90s had a very specific uh, and uh, limited water act. But now they have uh, a water irrigation uh, act uh, for agriculture. So which, which means talking about uh, uh, the issues concerning agriculture in, in a much broader context. Uh, and of course, this is a policy uh, response to, to the needs and for efficient use of resources. Okay, and you just came out of a session right now that also looked into the water, energy, food uh, security nexus, also a thing that has been discussed a couple of years already. So what's new in this context? What do you think is, is genuinely new there? Uh, yeah, that's a good question, and I think um, uh, we have previously been talking about integrated rural development, watershed management, and, and what, what's new. Uh, and I would say that uh, what's clearly new is that we now are relating these uh, important resource issues to a global level uh, connected with the local level. And also, we are in including the business sector very clearly. For the past years, the overall theme of that World Water Week uh, has always been responding to global changes. Now, uh, from your perspective, which global change impacts most on agriculture and rural development? And what could be an appropriate response? Uh, well, um, of course, being here at the Water Week, I mean, the water use in context uh, uh, of agriculture is, of course, very, very much in focus. And also, how we can uh, have an efficient energy uh, consumption uh, pattern in our, our countries and also in the poor countries. I think that's something which we, we, we really should uh, look into. And taking it uh, down to, to the local level, I, I think that the the next approach is also very useful there to have planning exercises, follow up exercises in a broader context, being cross sectorial. Okay. Interesting for the Global Donor Platform, which you are the Swedish CEDA uh, focal point of. Given this outlook that you just said, uh, how could the network of the Global Donor Platform? with its focus obviously on agriculture and rural development, contribute to such a response? What could be the added value from your perspective to use the network? Mm -hmm. I think that um, uh, we as uh, donors uh, could look into the nexus and what it means for, for the, the local farmers. What can we do as donors? What, how can we help out to support the, these important linkages? And that this is a task also for the Global Rules Platform to work on. Okay, thank you very much and good luck for the rest of the conference. Thank you very much.